Now we are going to take up the reflex actions. See, reflex actions are spontaneous. Reflex actions are spontaneous, autonomic, and quick responses. Now, what's that? You must have seen there are certain responses which occur in a less than fraction of a second. That means suppose uh, any needle prick your finger, so it, it just take a, you can say half of the second only to just withdraw your finger. Likewise, sometimes when the uh, headlights of the car, light of the car or the intense light falls into your eyes, you just uh, blink your eyes that time. So those uh, actions which actually perform in, in less than a fraction of second, those all actions are called as reflex actions. So they are spontaneous, that means very fast, they are autonomic, that means they occur themselves. We do not uh, think for that, uh, that means they are not voluntary, they are involuntary actions and moreover they are very quick, they occur in, as I told you that uh, you can say a less than fraction of a second time is required. So they are called as reflex actions. So what is actually there that how it occurs actually, <coughs> see we have receptors. What are receptors? Receptors are the specialized cells. Receptors are the specialized cells that are sensitive to different stimulus. As I already explained to you that stimulus is a sudden change in the, uh, you can say any change in the uh, surrounding environment is called as stimulus. So the cells which are actually sensitive to different stimulus, they are called as receptors. So we have many kind of receptors like for pain, we have receptors called as nono receptors. For temperature, we have receptors called as thermoreceptors. For pressure, we have certain receptors called as Thigo receptors. Likewise, for light, we have certain cells that respond to light. They are called as photoreceptors. So we have so many kind of receptors. As you can see, look on your hand. Your hand is not, uh, not a clean one. You have lines over there, right? So those lines which are actually like your finger is like this. The lines which you have like this, these are all Thigo receptors because the hand and the foot, uh, it mainly feels the pressure. So they are just the pressure. Uh, they are just the receptors for the pressure. That is, they are the Thigo receptors. So likewise, there are so many specialized cells which are present in your body surface or inside the body which are actually sensitive to different stimulus, right. So now how, how the reflex action works actually or what is the mechanism of the reflex action? What is the mechanism? Suppose, suppose you touch a hot object, hot iron is there, let us say you touch the hot iron with your hand. Right. So, what happened when you touch the hot iron, then obviously the, the receptors which respond to heat, which are sensitive to heat will get activated. And for heat, we have thermoreceptors. Suppose I touch, suppose this is hot, let us say this is iron, I touch it with my hand. So, obviously the thermoreceptors of my hand gets activated because they are the one which are sensitive to the heat. So, they get activated, I will write here, thermoreceptors get activated and then this is the second task first you touch the hot substance you touch hot object thermoreceptors get activated then they generate impulse to the uh, cns cns we know is the brain and the spinal cord so what they do is they generate impulse that is they send message to cns and we know that cns is brain and spinal cord out of that, the most of the reflex section is taken up by the spinal cord. But in general, what we will write is we will write CNS that is the central nervous system. So we touch hot object, thermoreceptors get activated, I will write here. Receptors get activated, they generate an impulse to CNS. They generate an impulse to CNS and the one which carry this, uh, this thing impulse, you know that from sensory organ to CNS is the sensory nerve. So, it carries to CNS. Then what CNS do? CNS analyzes that what has actually happened and then interpret its response that, that what has to be done now, interprets its response through the nerve which will bring the messages now 
motor nerve. So that means it will send the message via motor nerve. That is the response it will send via motor nerve to effector organ. To effector organ. So I'll write here. CNS analyzes that what has actually happened that you have touched a hot object then what has to be done you, you need to withdraw your hand. So, this response is uh, just in the term of electric signals is taken up by the motor nerve to the effector organ and in this case effector organ is muscle of our hand is muscle of our hand hand. So, what happened it contract and hand is withdrawn it contract and hand is withdrawn. So, this is what is the reflex action I think you got it suppose you touch like now we will take an example that um, uh, the needle has pricked your finger. So, let us say that needle pricked your finger so that means your pain you because you feel pain in that case so obviously no no receptors will get activated they will generate an impulse to CNS through sensory nerve. CNS analyzes that your the needle has pricked your finger and now what to do is you need to remove your hand and by motor nerve this uh, response is, is uh, being transferred to effector organ and effector organ is obviously the muscles of the hand it will just contract and the hand is withdrawn. So, this is what is the reflex action and the total path this whole flow chart which I have made is called as the reflex arc because it actually shows you that what is the pathway which is involved in the mechanism of the reflex action. So, the whole path traveled in reflex action is called as reflex arc. So, this is what is the reflexes that is the reflex action and moreover you should know that most of the reflex axis uh, actions are taken up at spinal cord level otherwise you will write CNS, but if sometimes in certain books or in answers if you get uh, encounter the word written as spinal cord do not get confused because most of the reflex action take place at spinal cord level. So, this is what is the reflex action.